Today we're going to talk about our glorious prime rib. How to prep it, season it, and cook it. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey, what's up guys? Derek at Valley Farm. Welcome back to our outside kitchen. Today we're going to talk about our prime rib roast. We want you to be at home and cooking with confidence. So we're going to talk about our two different variations we have. And then we're also going to talk about a boneless one. But our first one is going to be our export rib. This is a seven rib prime rib roast. This grades prime, so it's a top 2% of all beef. The next one's gonna be choice, and that's the next 20%. We call that a standing rib roast. What we like to do at Valley Farm is take it off of the rib, put it back on, and tie it. That way, when you put it in the oven, you're done cooking, you cut those strings, the rib comes right off, and you have a boneless prime rib, and people can fight over those bones. It's important for you guys to know that we like to cook this a little bit lower and slower, 325, like I said, 18 to 20 minutes per pound. It turns out exceptional. Internal temperature around 125. It's a perfect medium rare. The other thing is if we can take this off the, the bone, it's just a ribeye roast. So if you want to get a ribeye roast and you want to do it by pounds, we can do that for you as well. But we want you to be confident at home and you know, come ask us anything. We'll let you guys know and we'll season it up. And we hope you guys have a great holiday. So now that we have it out of the bag, I'm gonna take some of this back fat off of it. I'm gonna put it to the side. Do not throw that away. I'm gonna take off the bone, off the rib. This way we can have a boneless prime rib when we're done cooking. But that back fat that we took off is now gonna go back on. We're gonna tie it together. So I use a butcher's knot, and I'm gonna put about 14 butcher's knots on this. That way the circumference is even and it cooks a lot more evenly throughout the whole process. Now you have the whole seven rib roast. I'm gonna cut through it and you're gonna have a three rib and a four rib roast. We will um, spray it with duck fat that acts as a binder. We're gonna put our meat candy seasoning on it. Make sure it's liberally all the way around. We wanna make sure every piece of meat's seasoned properly. This way, every single bite's gonna be amazing. Now that we got it all seasoned up, make sure you put it on an elevated rack. We tend to put it in our ovens at 325 for about 18 minutes per pound. It's gonna go in the oven, sit back, relax, enjoy your day, and do what you do best. Okay guys, we got this out of the oven, internal temperature of 125. Key is to let it sit for about 20 minutes, it's gonna rise to 135, it's gonna be a perfect medium rare. After that, we can just cut off our strings. And as you can see, because it's oven prepared, this rib will just fall right off. So now, with these strings, take them off, you don't wanna eat these. Highly frowned upon. Now we have a boneless prime rib roast that we can just slice up. If you guys want to order this, you can order online, any size you'd like, two, three, four, five, and seven ribs. And we hope you guys have an amazing holiday.